Hey, my beautiful people. Y'all already know who it is. Let me sit down real quick. I'm sorry, I feel like my mouth is like making so much extra like saliva. So if you hear me like this, like that's why like it's really bothering me. Um, today we are basically going on a marriage retreat. I'm excited because it's been years since we've gone on one. So just a little backstory. I am a military wife. My husband's in the army. Let me stop looking at myself. My husband's in the army. I'm a military wife. I don't really talk about it much on my channel. But if you guys have any questions about the military lifestyle, if you're about to be an army wife, if your husband or wife, or even an army husband or a military husband, if your husband or wife is about to join the military, you have any questions, leave them down below. I will definitely get back to you or I'll come back with a video. Um, and basically, we're going out to Denver. I stay in the spring. It's like an hour and 15 minutes away. Usually, whatever city um, you live in, whatever city your base is at or your um, your post is at, um, there will be like a military treat, retreat like within an hour or two away. Like it's never going to be super far where you can't like drive to it because you do have to provide your own transportation. You got to pay for your own gas and all that. But they do pay for your hotel. You're going to be in a hotel. Today's Friday from Friday to Sunday. So three days, two nights in a hotel. And they pay for all of your, those accommodations. They pay for your food. Um, you get free child care because let's be real. A lot of like there is definitely, definitely like a thing about people in the military that we all always have kids. And we always got a whole bunch of them yeah basically that's what it is and they pay for everything like i said which is great and you do a lot of little workshops and different classes and they teach you different ways that you can like communicate within your marriage and you don't have to have issues in your marriage let's just start right there to go on one of these like you don't like i don't really have any issues in my marriage not saying that it's perfect or anything we have our own problems but you don't have to be going through it to go on this military um, retreat, this marriage retreat. Why do I keep calling it a military retreat? It's just so that you guys can learn to communicate better than what you already are. Okay, we're going to go straight there after we pick Amaya up from school. Camden didn't have school today because preschool, they don't have school on Fridays at all. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. So I will come back to y'all because I know I'm talking so much. Um, I'll come back to you guys later once we are on our way to the hotel. So we just stopped at Chick-fil-A real quick. We still haven't picked up Amaya yet, but yeah. Found him some Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A so much. The spicy chicken sandwich, like nobody's spicy chicken sandwich to me is even clean. Hello. So Cam back there eating his food. We got Amaya some food too, cause she get out of school in like a couple minutes. And then the hubby just went over there into target because camden he needs some more shoes even i just like got him some more but like he lost them in the house for some reason and the shoes that he has on right now don't match so we're just gonna buy him some like little cheap shoes why you keep losing shoes camden huh i don't put it in the right place you don't put it in the right place that's not about right okay guys so we just got amaya from school am i they got their chick-fil-a so they good we should be at the hotel in like an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah, so, you want to tell them what you got on your spelling test today? Uh -huh. I got 100%. Yeah, so far she's got 100% on all her spelling tests, so we just kind of keep this going. So we're back in the room and I'm really really tired. It's only like 8 30 I want to say but we did learn a lot today. We did like an icebreaker and of course my husband the reason why we was up there Getting asked questions Um, what's her name? What's her name? She was recording the start the the chaplain's assistant she was recording with her phone, so we can ask for that footage. Hopefully, we can get that footage because it was really, really funny. So, what y'all do the whole time? We play dress up, and I put the T set and the cash register. And the cash register, what'd you do, little boy? Uh, I played with cars and trains. You did? did you make any and I was, yeah. What's I your friend's name? Friends. Look, they all never know. Your friend's name is Friend. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, you want to say anything to the people? Nah, I'm just, I'm just Shut up. This is you every time. But yeah, we enjoyed it so far. It was just a whole lot of talking. Like, I get really sleepy when we're not doing anything. So, yes, we will see you guys in the morning. Kenna, your outfit of the day. Look at you, looking fresh. You gotta talk about your outfit. Tell them what you got on. What you got on? I got a, uh, a button up and mm -hmm. a sort. A sort. <laughs> what else? And some knee season. Yeah, let's see them. Um, pose for me. Let me see some poses. Hey. <laughs> this is my outfit from Shein. Just real simple. I got my little backpack from TJ Maxx. What you got on, boo? Mm. What you got on? I got on the Ross official, you know, we just Ross it up here. The little shimmy at the end. <laughs> Amaya, what you got on? A pink jacket. I and you see uh, the uh, silver hats and rounded and leggings and black boots. Yes, girl, you so cute. Perfect, perfect, perfect. training thing the workshop class whatever you want to call it and they're actually gonna watch the kids so we are about to go to Dave and Buster's with another couple well whose husband works with him so yeah we're about to go to Dave and Buster's about to beat him in some basketball because he can't shoot never beat me no basketball. I have she yes I have yes I have but yeah, that's what we're about to do now. But after we do that, we're gonna come back, get the kids, and then we'll do dinner, and then probably go take them to see Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, like I said, I'm about to whoop his aunt in basketball real quick. My we find at we got pastors that watch this channel. Who? Hmm? What pastor be watching I me? Name, I ain't gonna name no pastor. I don't know no pastor. What do you do? Nope, I don't want y'all here.
Okay guys, so we literally have been in traffic for like an hour and 12 minutes. The kids then fell asleep, they slumped, knocked out. So basically, there's a parade going on down here. And we didn't really realize that the movie theater was actually downtown on the parade route. So like there's no way for us to really get to it. Like it's hard and we just over it. I'm tired at this point. So we're just gonna go home and then try to go see it tomorrow. Probably once we get home, no, just okay. <laughs> just because this Denver traffic is turn just right after a quarter of a mile. Much, Thank you. 